Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about static functions in system Verilog. Let us take a class called transaction and we have created a variable s underscore id of int type and it is a static type and other variable id of in data type. It is non-static. It is non-static. And we have taken a static function of void type called incr underscore s underscore id this is a static function and we are incrementing s underscore id this is a static property whereas in static functions we cannot access non-static members this is illegal and here we are ending the function and we are creating other function of void type called incr underscore id and we are incrementing s underscore id and id and here we are ending the function and class and we are taking a module called class underscore example and we are creating six handles of class transaction so for class transaction we are creating tier of zero handles tier of one like this we are creating six handles and for this and within initial begin and block we are creating objects for these handles and we are calling the method incr underscore s underscore id with the help of these handles and we are displaying the value of incr and we are displaying the value of s underscore id and id and again we are making this s underscore id value equal to 0 and we are calling the function incr underscore id with this handle tr so basically what we are doing is we are creating first we are creating object for this all handles first we are creating objects for all these handles and with the help of each object with the help of each individual object first we are calling the function incr underscore s underscore id function and we are seeing the value of s underscore id and id and again we are resetting this s underscore id value equal to 0 and we are calling the function incr underscore id and we are seeing the values of s underscore id and id so in first case when we create objects for all these handles and call when we call the function incr underscore s underscore id then this function is called and s underscore id will be incremented since this property is a static so all the objects will share the same property so all the objects tr of 0 tr of 1 will share the common property s underscore id so s underscore id is common to all these objects so s so every time we call this function with a new handle s underscore id will be incremented and it value will be incremented s underscore id will be equal to 0 first initially and s underscore id will be equal to 1 2 3 so on every time we create an object and when we call this function incr underscore s underscore id the value of s underscore id will be incremented like this on calling incr underscore s underscore id value of s underscore id will be equal to 1 2 3 4 5 whereas id will be equal to 0 since this value is not accepted by the static function so this value is not at all incremented it will be equal to its default value that is 0 itself next when we call the function incr underscore id and here next first we are resetting the value of s underscore id and we are calling the function incr underscore id and we are calling the function incr underscore id this is a normal function incr id incr underscore id is a normal function and we are incrementing s underscore id and id so here we can see at the output s underscore id is a static property so it is shared across all the objects so its value will be incremented whereas id is a non-static property so each object that is tier of 0 tier of 1 
will have its their own copy so different memories will be created for all this object so every time we call this function using this using different handles every object has its own copy so every time we call we create a new object it value remains the same that is tr of 0 will have its own copy of id and when we call the function incr underscore id function id will be incremented so it will be equal to 1 again when we create object for this then the function will be called and id will be equal to 1 itself so this is not common to all the objects every object will create its own copy so that's why id is not incrementing whereas s underscore id is common to all the objects so every object will shares the common property so s underscore id will be incrementing like this so this is all about static functions in system variable thank you for watching this video